Fight! We just closed an epic night here at Madison Square Garden for Glory 55, and we wanted to go over the fights to get your thoughts on them. Um, let's start with the co-main event with Petch Patamarong. Well, I was excited for this fight. I was just in Thailand. Um, we met with a number of media broadcasters, um, publishers, and everyone was interested in this fight. So for him to come out with a lot of pressure on his back because his country was watching and perform the way he did. Now, the fight was a little messy. It was a little bit sloppy, but it was just because of intention. These guys went out there and wanted to deliver for the crowd. Uh, a little bit of drama with some of the points coming off. You know, I think there could be some controversy as to whether it was right or wrong, but nevertheless, uh, Petch Panmarung won. Um, he's taken the belt back home. Uh, may not have made the news here, but he ended up dedicating that belt to uh, the survivors who survived the, um, um, the trapping in the cave. So, uh, yeah, it's really exciting for him. I was excited to see him. You could see he was really happy. Yeah, it almost seemed like the point detection motivated him to put on and open up a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. He His leg kicks are wicked. I mean, he delivers them with mean intentions. And he also, you can see there's that little switch in him that goes in some fighters, and you can see when he bulls his neck and comes at you, he's coming with some intention. So, yeah, it's fun to watch. Mm -hmm. His leg kicks, we could hear echo across the arena. Now, he gets a rematch against Robin Van Roosmalen coming up. Yeah, that's uh, obviously the fight that was intended to be tonight. Um, now with Robin coming back, you know, he hurt his shoulder, so we're hoping that he'll be back soon and we can make that fight as soon as we can. This was a war, so we'll let the fighters rest. We'll get them back, and uh, we're excited. I'm excited to see them compete. I think Robin's style, which is a come-forward style, go after the body with this fighter who seems to sit back, likes his distance a little bit to deliver those leg kicks, it'll be an interesting fight. It certainly will. Let's move on to the main event tonight. Alex Pereira defended his title here at Madison Square Garden against U3 Belgari with a killer knockout. Yeah, a killer knockout. It's one of those knockouts that you stand up and say, is he okay? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it was, it was a, a good fight. You could see the intensity at the intensity at the weigh-in. You felt it. Uh, they came out and delivered. I have a, a strong relationship with Brazil in my past career uh, down in their country, so it was interesting to be able to belt a Brazilian champion. Uh, but yeah, I thought that fight was um, entertaining, the crowd loved it, and what a way to end the night. What else stood out for you tonight? Uh, I think it was the arrival of the crowd. I mean, the crowd came from the first fight to the last fight, and with the exception of maybe a couple of fights that maybe were a little flat, there were some amazing fights in some of the prelims and the super fight series, incredible fights. And I'm hoping that as we build our brand and as we grow and we get uh, more traction with this, there are some fights tonight that will be epic in the um, annals of glory. It really was a great night of fights. We also had Cedric Dumbe, and he put on an epic performance against Alan Shinesin. And uh, give us your thoughts on that and what's next for Cedric. Cedric put on a show. Uh, you know, a lot of times a fighter who positions himself and takes on that weight of saying, look at me, he did it at the weigh-in, he did it on his walkout, and then he delivered. So that's two big knockouts in a row for him. Tonight he looked amazing. Uh, the first time I've got to see him fight live, he did a lot of dancing in and out, but the last two Cedrics was the Cedric that I get excited to see. And so if he's going to have a fight and a rematch with, or I'm sorry, go and fight for the belt against Gregorian, obviously we'll get together with the talent ops and figure that out. But that would be a fight that I would look forward to seeing. It would be very interesting to see what Doom Bay we're going to get. Is he going to stand and brawl or is he going to dance and showboat? Yeah, you know, it's impressive when you look at his record. He's got a lot of knockouts. And I remember my first impression, impression having seen him was, Okay, he's got skills, he's athletic, he's certainly talented, but seeing the Cedric in the last couple of fights, uh, I have a new opinion about him, and he looks like a guy, if he puts his mind to it, can take anyone out. Oh.